you know, I can remember when Peyton Manning came out of college the same year Ryan Leaf did. I preferred Ryan Leaf because I saw Peyton play live and I didn't like his feet. I thought he had, I didn't think he was overly athletic and I thought he had incredibly um, anxious feet. He always looked like he was unsettled. And it, it was, he was an interesting player that he was obviously great, but Ryan Leaf carried a bunch of, you know, five, seven wide receivers to the Rose Bowl at Washington State. Was a big kid with a big arm, had nothing around him. And Tennessee was a great program with all Americans everywhere. In fact, they won a national title the year after Peyton Manning was there. They never won it with him, they won it with T. Martin, who now coaches at USC. So Peyton was one of those guys where I didn't feel the same way about Peyton that I did about John Elway. I watched John Elway in college and felt slam dunk. I watched Andrew Luck in college and felt slam duck. When Peyton, I can remember thinking, yeah, he's big, he's tall. But I also, we didn't have the internet. You just didn't understand where I lived in the world, how smart he was. You just didn't know. You you didn't have that information. Now, I mean, God, they got the John Gruden stories, the combine, the draft. There's so much transparency. You hear the guy. You watch the guy. You can hear his interviews. You can watch his workouts. Back then it was like, okay, it's Peyton, it's Ryan Leaf. Ryan Leaf looks bigger and stronger and has carried worse teammates to great heights. But if you'd known now, if you'd watched Peyton Manning and how detailed, he was never compromised. His prep was never compromised. And uh, yeah, I think it would, it would be more obvious now that Peyton would be the logical choice because of his maturity. You know, you just you just know more about. I mean, the truth is, you may have never seen Johnny Manziel play. Now we see all his games, but all those money signs in college. When I first got to ESPN, they only aired about you know a hundred college football games, maybe less than that, fifty. Now they got five hundred. There's so much transparency in the combine and draft process. <laughs> 